In this video for Premier Plasma, we will be starting from start to finish on making a simple object, then sending it to SheCam, and then sending it to Mach 3 to cut out. We are first going to design the object in VACAD. You will first want to open up VACAD here. After you open up VACAD, it should look like this. Now what you want to do is simply go to the left side, going to click on our square tool. Now we're going to take, we're going to click once with the left clicker, drag out, click again. Now once we click again, we will see it is now red. Now we can put our size in. We're going to want to put five inches for a width. Click here five inches for a height and then press enter on the keyboard. Now the square is five inches by five inches. Now let's say we want to put a hole in the center of this square. For that we are going to go over here to our circle tools. Click and hold down. We're going to select the first tool, circle one point. Then for our diameter, we will put the size hole we want it to make. We will do a 3 inch hole. Now to find the center, it's kind of hard. So we're going to zoom in. The way you zoom in and out is by the little ball on the mouse. So we're going to zoom in. We're going to hover the mouse midpoint. Hover the mouse midpoint. We're not clicking, we're just hovering. Then we'll bring this to the center, and there's our intersect. So now we will hit OK. We're going to click on the mouse on the left side. Now we've just placed a 3 inch circle inside of our 5 inch square. Let's say we want to do a radius on one of these corners to put a hole to hang this. For that, we are going to want to go down here to our fillet two lines, which is a radius tool. We're going to leave our radius at half an inch. To make the radius, you will just simply go to your one line, click, go to your other ra line you want it to radius, click, and now it has radius this corner. Now let's say you want to put a hole right here in the center of this radius. For that, we're going to go back to our circle one point. diameter we'll do 0.25 inches now we're going to go over here and this program will automatically tell us our center of our radius so let's say this is our part we want to export to export the part we will now go up to file export We're going to want to export it as DXF version R12 in inches. Now we are going to hit OK. We're going to save this as one test to our desktop. So now we will save it. Now we are going to want to open up sheet cam, which is a drill bit down here. So we've opened up sheet cam. Now what we're going to go to is file, new part. Do you want to import a drawing to this part? We'll hit yes. There is our one test on our desktop. We're going to hit open now. Drawing options, we're going to do inches. Bottom left corner position. We will now hit OK. As you can see, this is our part inside of sheet cam compared to a 4x8 sheet of steel. As you can see here, the part is red on the outside and yellow on the inside. This is basically representing sheet cam is going to do the yellow operation first and then the red, kind of like a stoplight where yellow becomes before red. 
So sheet cam already knows that it's going to cut the inside out first and then the outside. Now what we want to do is go to our tools. We're going to create a new jet cutting tool. For this tool, I'm going to name it 12 gauge. Feed rate we'll leave at 200 inches per minute. Pierce delay we'll put at 0.3 seconds. Pierce height is good, plunge rate is good. Cut height is also good. This cut height is what you can adjust if your torch needs to be higher or lower on the material. These are just general settings we're going to use for this video. Your settings may be different depending on the plasma cutter that you have. Now we are going to hit OK. So now we successfully have a tool. Now we're going to go down here to operations. We're going to do create a new jet cutting operation. For this we're going to want to do our contour method as outside offset. Layer, layer 1. Tool, we're going to select our 12 gauge tool. We are going to do a lead in of 0.2 inches. So we're going to want to do lead in arc 0.2 inches. Now from here we're going to hit OK. Now you can see Here we have our cut directions. It's going to start here, cut this out, then it's going to go up here, cut this out, and then last it will go here and cut this out. So now we're going to want to go P for pulse process. This is going to save this part into a G code. We're going to save it to your desktop as one test G code. We're going to go ahead and save it. After we saved it, we'll see here, post processing complete. Now we're going to hit OK. Now we're going to want to open up Mach 3. After you click on it and hit OK, Mach 3 will open. Now after Mach 3 is open, on the bottom left, you'll want to go hit Reset. Then what we're going to want to use is the arrow keys on our keyboard to move the table around. So we're going to move our table to our starting position. Your torch will be page up and page down which is above the arrow keys on the keyboard. After we know where we want to start cutting we're going to hit 0x, 0y, and 0z. Then we're going to come over here and hit load g-code. We're going to look for our one test. There it is there. We're going to open that up and there it is right there. After that we're going to hit start and the part will proceed to cut. Thank you for watching.